This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at stomach acid inhibitors. Stomach acid inhibitors inhibit the production of stomach acid. The two types of stomach acid inhibitors are proton pump inhibitors and H2 receptor antagonists, which are also called H2 blockers. Proton pump inhibitors inhibit the proton pumps in the stomach. H2 blockers work by blocking the histamine receptors in acid-producing cells in the stomach. Next, we look in more detail at proton pump inhibitors. The gastric proton pump pumps protons into the stomach. As we can see in this diagram, the proton pump is responsible for secreting hydrogen ions into the gastric juice of the stomach. Proton pump inhibitors inhibit the proton pump which prevents the release of protons into the stomach. Proton pump inhibitors have a longer lasting effect of up to three days. They are used to treat stomach ulcers and also provide relief from the symptoms of acid reflux. Next we look at H2 blockers. H2 blockers reduce the amount of acid produced by the cells in the lining of the stomach. Histamine stimulates the secretion of stomach acid by interacting at H2 receptors in the stomach lining. H2 blockers compete with histamine for binding at the H2 receptors. They block the interaction between histamine and the H2 receptors, preventing the release of stomach acid. Next we'll look at the structures of a proton pump inhibitor and a H2 receptor antagonist, which can be found in section 37 of the data booklet. At the top we have omeprazole, which is an example of a proton pump inhibitor. At the bottom we have ranitidine, which is an example of a H2 receptor antagonist. And finally we look at a comparison of proton pump inhibitors and antacids. Both compounds relieve the symptoms of acid reflux, heartburn and indigestion. Proton pump inhibitors such as omeprazole inhibit the production of stomach acid and antacids such as magnesium hydroxide neutralize excess acid in the stomach. And finally, proton pump inhibitors have a longer lasting effect than antacids.